Oh dear, who are you? You must be barking mad to come down here. It's a madhouse down here, to be certain. It's the sharks that are causing most of the trouble. They call themselves the Piscean Guard, and they claim to serve the Crustacean Empire. Whatever that is. They've prevented us from our main work, surveying the region and learning what we can about Celestian culture. I assume you're here to rescue us and to learn about the Celestian schools of magic. Stars, moon, and sun, right? If you want to rediscover the secrets of Celestian magic, then you must become one of us, an explorer. First lesson, observation. Based on where it stands, that broken monolith is undoubtedly the key to entering the area beyond. Would you be so kind as to go and survey that monolith and return here with your findings? The monolith is ancient, but upon closer examination, the broken edges look fairly fresh. How interesting! A great deal of what explorers do is collect pieces of rubble and try to rebuild broken artifacts. You see, the Celestians were very big on building secret meaning into their architecture and decor, even their city layout. You can read a lot about a culture from how they build their walls, floors, and ceilings. Messages hidden everywhere. That said, if the monolith has recently been broken, then it is likely the work of the sharks of the Piscean Guard. They are crude vandals, always chopping at the Celestian artifacts and architecture, using pieces of stone for currency. Sometimes being an explorer is investigation, and sometimes it's throwing a bit of muscle around. Could you go and recover some of the pieces of the broken monolith from the Piscean Guard? I think you got all the missing pieces. Lesson two, restoration or rebuilding that which was broken. We'll first need something to fuse the pieces together. The stellar protectors were made by the Celestians and they're still up and running after all this time. They're just suits of metal animated by power motes within their bodies. Got it? The power motes should provide enough energy to fuse the piece of the broken monolith together. Could you go and collect a few power motes from inactive stellar protectors? No need to damage an active one. Uh, those should do the trick. Hmm, these power motes must be treated with extreme heat before we can use them to repair the broken monolith. Where will we get that kind of heat, I wonder? Blimey, I've got it! The Star Forge! It's still burning after all this time, and it'll serve perfectly. 
Take those power moats to the Star Fort and bathe them in the flames. Be careful, that's incredible power at play. You treat the power moats within the Star Forge in short order, they're ready for use. Those should do perfectly. I've reassembled the pieces of the broken monolith, but the translation is a bit of a bother, sad to say. Could you do us both a favor and go into the Astral Archive and seek out the knowledge we need? Speak to the Archivist there. It's sort of a talking library catalog that will tell you what you need to know. I am the Archivist, a construct to aid research in the Astral Archive. Based on the nature of your request, I have prepared courses of instruction at three different preceptor stations. The stations are devoted to contrivances, conflict, and configurations. You may utilize them in any order you wish. Though the people of Celestia exist in harmony with the universe, the other worlds of the Spiral are not so enlightened. Celestia's magic touches the very Spiral itself, and for this reason, it is coveted by many. To mount a proper defense, Celestia must understand conflict in all forms. The Preceptor has a great deal to say about all manner of conflict, from wars to magic duels. Eventually, the lesson ends. Celestia's greatest achievement is its mastery of astral magic, conjuring power from the stars, the moon, and the sun. Celestian magic is intrinsically tied to an understanding of astral configurations or the movement of celestial bodies. The lesson continues for quite a while, teaching you about the nature of the worlds of the spiral, the stars, and the sun. So much to learn. And then the lesson ends. Among the greatest of Celestia's achievements is the creation of magic artifacts, or contrivances. These contrivances are essential to Celestian life and are marvels of crafting and enchantment. This goes on for a while. All manner of schematics, plans, and diagrams flash before your eyes until at last the lesson ends. You look like you've been hitting the books. Did you learn anything? Now that you've a working knowledge of Celestian, we can determine how the broken monolith relates to the surroundings. Understanding context is vitally important. We must know not only how something works, but what it means in the big picture. The broken monolith has many markings very similar to those in the Chantry and may be significant. Could you go and survey the Chantry to see what might be learned of the area? Return here with what you've learned.
You examine the observatory. Using the powers of observation, Mr. Lewis taught you. The mosaic on the floor appears important. Based on the architectural emphasis, perhaps a closer look. The mosaic is clearly the key to understanding the secret message. Unfortunately, it looks like many of the mosaic plates are missing. If they were there, the meaning would be clear. So, what did you learn? You say someone stole the shiniest and brightest plates of the mosaic? Given what we know about the sharks, they're likely the culprits. I think you know what to do. Go and thrash some of those Piscean troopers until you recover the missing pieces. Be sure to look around the rest of the Chantry as well. Those sharks will often hide things from their rivals. You find a small mosaic tile wedged into the gears of the orrery. A shark must have used this place to hide a small cache of mosaic tiles, perhaps to barter with. You take them. Six, seven, eight, nine. You've recovered all the missing mosaic pieces. Smashing! Now you're ready to restore the mosaic floor to its former state. Head on into the Chantry and see about putting the pieces back where they belong. That should put us ahead of the game. Excellent work! You're the best student I've ever taught. You've done much to earn your way into the Stellarium, but you're not done. I've taught you all I can, and the next steps are yours alone. Go to the Astral Archive and see if you can catch some more out of that archivist. That should set you on the right path.
I am the Archivist, a construct to aid research in the Astral Archive. I am the Archivist, a construct created to aid research in the Astral Archive. My empathic array detects that you are here searching for a means of entry into the Stellarium. Is that correct? Only Celestian citizens are permitted unrestricted access to the Stellarium. Temporary access to the Stellarium may be granted by allowing an empathic scan to determine suitability. Please present yourself to the preceptors of configuration, conflict, and contrivance for your evaluation. Once finished, return with the tokens denoting successful completion and place them in the security plinth. The preceptors have been activated and are ready for your use. Preceptor lectures for a little while about identifying and resolving disagreements of all sort. When the lecture is complete, the preceptor produces a small metal token for you. Congratulations! There is an extremely long lecture about Celestian philosophy, astronomy, and magic theory. At the end of the lecture, the preceptor produces a small metal token for you, shiny. The preceptor speaks at length about the creation of devices with magical properties. When it is finished lecturing you, the preceptor produces a small metal token for you. Good job. You fit the three course completion tokens into slots on the security plinth. Congratulations! Your evaluation was a success, and you have been deemed worthy to enter the Stellarium. If you wish to continue, proceed to the pedestal immediately outside the doors of the Stellarium in the Grand Plaza. pedestal appears to be missing a small section of metal, a key of some kind. Perhaps Thornton Lewis knows about it. Funny you should mention something being missing. The other day I saw the Piscean leader... A big fellow named Brutus Starkwave fiddling with that pedestal. I wager he knows something about your missing key.
This is no place for a surface dweller. Come on, boys! Fresh meat! a piece of curiously shaped metal. It must be the missing key. I think you finally got it. This is it. Now you can journey into the Stellarium and recover the Star of Celestia, the heart of the Stellarium. That artifact is crucial to understanding Celestia's star magic. Recover it and take it to the Grand Astrolabe in the Celestia base camp. Proceed. Your defeat is inevitable. Spare yourself the humiliation.
You have defeated me, but your weak mind cannot solve the problem that will let you pass. We guarded the gateway well, with a grid of flux panels. They must be linked to bring power to the gateway, and pass beyond. Though you can manipulate the pedestals and orient the flux panels anew, you are simply incapable of an arrangement that links them continuously. Such cleverness is beyond your human function. Do not waste your time attempting this challenge. Accept your limits with dignity. Bravely and with honor, the light of the stars clearly led you to this place through the Sea of Night. I release unto you the Star of Celestia. Use it in pursuit of knowledge and learning. You may proceed. You remove the Star of Celestia from the Stellarium. It glimmers with astral power. You slot the Star of Celestia into the Grand Astrolabe. Wonderful! You've done it! Now the secrets of Celestia Star School Magic can be yours! You've done so much for us already, but there's so much more to be done! I'd send you on in the submersible, but it's not working just now. We need parts from the dirigible topside. I'm sure you're ready for a breath of fresh air and a spot of sunlight. Can you go to the surface and speak with Pierce Stanson? Pierce is our dock master, overseeing the landing area when you first arrived on Celestia. To get to see Pierce, you'll have to head up to the surface. He can set you up with the submersible parts. <laughs> 